Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Today I am working on two layouts at the same time. And um, this is not something that I normally do, but I am working on these for my mom's birthday. These are photos of my grandson, which is her great-grandson, obviously. And the one on the right is my great-niece, so her great-granddaughter. These are the first two great-grandchildren that she's had, and they were born seven weeks apart from each other. Um, in the fall and winter of 2018, so very recently. And actually the photo of uh, my grandson was taken literally the same day I'm actually making this layout. So I texted my daughter and said, I need a, a photo of him with a neutral background. Um, a lot of times she sends me photos, but he's on his play mat, which is super colorful. So I just specified I wanted him in a neutral background and preferably laying down. So she went through several iterations of photos and changed his clothes two times, I think. And um, this is the photo that that one and it's super cute of him. At least I think it is. And I know I'm partially biased, but it, it is super cute. He's even if he wasn't my grandson, I'd say he's adorable. Just that smile on his face is so happy. And then the one of my great niece, that is her three month old photo. And um, she's super cute too. She just reminds me in that photo of, um, you know, when when little ladies have their hair up in curlers and they've got that um, scarf tied around their head. That kind of is what her little, her little bandana thing around her head reminds me of. She just looks so cute. So the title on her layout is Lovely Little Lady, and then on my grandson's, it's You Are My Sunshine. And the reason for his is because uh, we used to sing my daughter, You Are My Sunshine, when she was just a baby. And his dad used to um, be sung, You Are My Sunshine, by uh, his grandma on the other side when his dad was a baby. And when my daughter and her husband got married, they walked out to You Are My Sunshine and they sing that to him. So um, it's very fitting. It was also my grandparents, um, their song and their, you know, my grandfather sang it to my grandma a lot. So it's just um, has a long family tradition on both sides of his family. So um, I'm using the Lullaby collection from, I think it's Pebbles and the papers that are all cut up at the top there in the blue were all papers that I used on his baby shower banner. So I'm just reusing bits and pieces of that. I've got a lot of offcuts, and those are perfect for all the layering. And I've taken some Heidi Swap Color Shine. You can see on the upper right hand corner there, I've got I uh, think navy and there's a pink one. I'm not. I don't remember the name of it, and I apologize for that. Um, so I've got two shades of blue and two shades of pink that I've splattered diagonally across the pages. And the idea is that these pictures are going to be put into frames and then they can be hung on a wall um, side by side or on opposite sides of like, you know, the, the TV or whatever. So I wanted them kind of mirror images. Of course, one's going to be in blue and one's going to be in pink just because... Um, it's a girl and a boy and I don't always feel that way like my son, grandson's baby book is all super colorful if you've ever seen me do any other layouts of him I use tons of colorful stuff I don't mind having pink on boy layouts or blue on girl layouts but because these were going to be on display um, in my mom's house you know opposite each other I wanted them to kind of mirror each other so that is exactly why I used the girl paper and the boy paper from this collection. They use the same patterns and they're just in pinks versus blue. So I'm ripping the left hand side of his page and the right hand side of her page and I'm going to mount the wood grain paper that you see there under his. It has a lot of blues in it. That's from Prima, I think it's called Saint Tropez uh, paper pad. And then I'm going to use a similar wood grain for hers but it doesn't have the blue and that one's out of the Prima, Prima Amber Moon paper pad. And then the embellishments that I'll be adding a little bit later are from the same collections respectively. So his are, his are all from the Saint Tropez and hers are from Amber Moon. And I just, I love the wood grain. It gives it more of a, I guess, an earthy feel to it and warms up the pictures 
quite a bit and I'm going to be adding a little mixed media here and I really I really love how the mixed media ends up coming out so I'm just using some super thick paper it's just plain white cardstock but it's really I think it's like a hundred and ten pound cardstock and I'm using very minimal amount of um, water you'll see me spraying it but I'm not soaking everything in so and then I am testing the colors right underneath the photograph so that if it's not the right color I could switch out to something else before I get the color all over my page and then I am um, holding the photo over to make sure I get it so that the mixed media is coming out from the edges of it. I don't want to soak my paper all completely underneath where that photo is because that's going to cause a lot of warping on the paper, the white paper. And since these photos are going to be um, in a frame, I don't want to add a ton of, uh, I don't want to have a lot of warping to the papers. I don't want them to look all wrinkly. So I'm being pretty cautious and mindful of what, um, where I add these colors to and how much water and you can see me soaking up some of the water there but that actually also lifts off a lot of the pigment so I will add more pigment where I want it a little bit darker I don't want to suck up too much with my paper towel um, and then I'm using my squirt bottle to kind of get the flow that I want and the right color that I want because if you put it on um, if you put the especially this pink. If you put it on really heavily, it's very saturated in color and the pink is a lot brighter than the pink of the papers that I'm using. And I really didn't want it to be quite so uh, bold. So I'm watering it down pr uh, pretty much with you, my squirt bottle so that it kind of thins it out and gives it a softer feel to it. So I'm using watercolors from Kiritake. It's the G Gonzai Tom... I think it's Tombi or Tambi. Um, they're like $30 on Amazon, but they're really, really, um, I guess, highly pigmented. They work really well. I really like them. And then I'm just using a squirt bottle that I got from a class I did with Prima at one of their events. So uh, I really like how these end up coming out, and I like the softness that it adds around the photo. It makes the photo pop more. And I will end up using a little bit more of the um, Heidi Swap Color Shine to add back in. And I'm also being a little bit cautious that I don't squirt water too heavily over the um, Heidi Swap Color Shine because that will reactivate that and I don't want those to run a whole lot. I just want to keep the speckled effect that I've already got going. So that is going to be... Um, it's just going to add to the texture and the feel of the layout. <clears throat> I really enjoy the watercolor process and I'm still getting kind of comfortable with it. I tend to soak things into my my layouts too much. So um, I really took some time to be intentional and mindful of it rather than being impatient. Now I've got these little square sayings and the blue ones all have little holes in the corner because those were actually used at my daughter's baby shower. They were on C's lollipops and these were the, the little party favors that we gave people with the little thank you stamped on the back. So I'm going to use one of the ones with the hole in it for um, my grandson's layout because I don't have any leftover that don't have holes punched. I have a whole bunch in the girl ones that are not punched so I can pull a fresh one. I'll just have to figure out how to cover up that little hole and you can see I'm playing with it at the top of the layout there thinking maybe I can just trim the top of it off and not have that little hole punch show. Um, I'm not going to even end up using it in that spot so um, you'll see how I address that later. So now I have punched these scallop circles out of the wood grain to tie that into the border on the outside edge of each of the layouts and then I have a striped piece for the boy layout and a floral piece for the girl layout. I actually punched the floral piece upside down and had to repunch it so that's why you see two of them on my screen there. Um, 
I really wanted to keep more of a masculine feel for his layout, which is why I went with stripes versus florals. And I wanted hers to be really soft and girly. So that's why I went with the florals on hers. Now, underneath their layouts, the little border pieces or layered pieces that I've put in, there are florals on his and stripes on hers. And I don't mind that. I just didn't want, um, I guess I didn't want the floral to be a star on his up in the corner or the stripe to be a star on hers. I wanted to more showcase the soft, the more girly side and the more masculine, masculine side in those two spots. Now I'm cutting some strips of paper and those are going to be little banner flags that hang down from underneath those scallop circles. And I'm using just the top piece of the paper where you rip it out of the paper pad for a couple of them. So they're really super narrow. I think that's like a half inch. And then I went to a three quarter inch and maybe a one inch. So those are the three sizes that I've used. And you can see me stacking them up there. I'm inking everything in this little ink pad. I'm not actually even sure where I got it from, but it is kind of a gray beige color. So I'm going to call it grayish, and it matches the um, wood grain really well. And it's just giving a little bit of a soft shadow effect on the edge of each of the papers, so it's not really harsh. It's just making everything stand out a little bit more than it would without the inking. And I really like how it looks because it's still very soft. And it's a, it's a really natural, neutral color. I apologize that I'm off screen a little bit here. I also apologize that my light is in the upper left-hand corner. Um, unfortunately, I did not realize that my light got moved and that it was in, in the view of my camera. So I apologize for that. And geez, my desk is like a horrific mess, but um, working on two layouts at the same time, I guess I didn't realize what a mess it's actually creating. Now I'm actually, actually ripping off a little bit more. You can see that I'm trying it out in this black frame, and so I realized that I need to trim off a little bit more of that outer edge so that you can see the wood grain, grain once it's put in the frame. So that's why I trimmed those down a little bit more, peeled off a little bit more with my fingers. <clears throat> I've pulled out three little blue bows and three little pink bows, and these are from Do Crafts. And I'm not a bow person. I don't. I've had these bows in my stash for ages, and um, wow, I, this is, these are the perfect layouts for them. They look really cute on these layouts. And once I did this, I was like, geez, I wish I had some more bows in these colors. I could duplicate these layouts for myself, but <laughs> I don't have any more in those colors. I think I have yellow and green and um, maybe like a corally orange color, but anyway, they look super cute on here and I don't use bows a lot, so it was, it was nice to be able to use them and get them out of my stash, even though I kind of wished they were still in my stash. So now I'm pulling out different ephemera pieces from the San Tropez and Amber Moon collections from Prima. I really, really love the different elements that are in these packages and I knew right away to go to the San Tropez one because it has so many different royal blue elements in it and I love that they're they've got like mirrored pieces um, or metallic pieces so the metallic blue hearts I just love them I kinda wish the the pink hearts were metallic but um, it's totally okay that they're not uh, the floral pieces are gorgeous so I, I didn't really know exactly what I was going to find in there, but I found some elements that were just perfect. The sunshine and the lovely pieces are out of one of those two packages. Those are just acrylic words, and um, they worked out perfectly for the, these two layouts. I knew I wanted something that was flat because they are going in a frame that is very uh, narrow, I guess, is the right word for that. There, they don't. There's not a de a lot of depth to the frame, so I couldn't get very dimensional with the titles or my embellishments. A lot of times, I will use a lot of foam tape underneath embellishments to pop things up and give things a lot of dimension. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to do that because these frames just don't allow for that kind of depth. And so. I think the thickest thing on there are those little bows, and they're they're fairly 
small, so there's not a lot of depth to those either. <clears throat> now the little blue pieces uh, that are, I guess, foliage, that would be <laughs> the, be the best word to describe it, the little foliage pieces on my grandson's layout, those I think are from Coco Daisy, and those were sitting on my desk from another project that I was doing, and so that's why I pulled those in, because I don't have blue flowers, and I wanted something to soften it up, but I didn't want it super feminine, as in roses or something like that, which I don't have blue roses anyway, but I think the foliage was the perfect thing, because it's still masculine, but it softens things up with a more of a natural feel. And then I really love the little balloon on the right-hand side on his, where it says favorite on it, and not that he's necessarily the favorite. He's just, um, you know, he, I guess he could be the favorite boy because he's the only boy. <laughs> but the blue matched perfectly, so I think it was perfect. And then the little rectangle pieces from the baby collections, the one on his says, You are my sun, my moon, and all of my stars, and that's a, a saying by E.E. E. Cummings. And then... The one on hers says, let's see here, it says, sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart, and that's from A.A. A. Milne. And I just thought those were like the perfect little sayings to put on their layouts to balance each other out. And um, they're, they're just cute baby sayings, perfect for the these layouts. Now I've pulled out some letter stickers. You can see I pulled two different kinds of pink, trying to figure out which ones I'm going to use. I do end up using the ones that I'm I'm working with right now, and again, that's going to say "lovely little lady." And to adhere my acrylic pieces or acetate pieces, sorry, they're acetate, not acrylic. Um, I'm going to use my tiny attacher there, and typically I put two staples next to each other and then one across those two. Um, and that's just to give it a little bit of <coughs> visual interest. Pardon me, I'm still getting over this cold that I've had since the beginning of March. Um, I can't kick the cough, so I apologize for any coughing or throat clearing throughout the video. And then in order to cover up the little hole on his, I end up using one of those shiny blue hearts, and I really like how that looks. And I'm going to end up cutting these little foliage pieces, or at least one of these foliage pieces, in half so that it can stick out on both sides. <clears throat> and I'm getting pretty close to the end of the layout here. I'm not going to end up using the little love acrylic or acetate piece that is up there at the top of his layout, and I'm not going to end up using the butterfly. I left it there kind of thinking I might use it, but um, I decided not to. Basically, I wanted to keep the more masculine feel to his, and I felt like if I had a butterfly on his, I should probably have a butterfly on hers because hers I wanted more feminine and his more masculine. So I thought the, the butterfly was bringing more of a feminine element to his layout, which, I mean, I don't mind butterflies on a boy layout. Like I said, I don't mind pink either, but um, if I wasn't going to have it on hers, I didn't want to have it on his. So that was kind of my thought with that. I'm about to pull out some sequins to put on both of their layouts. His, I end up using some blue ones that have a little bit of a periwinkle sheen to them, and those are from Spiegel Mom Scraps, and I really like them. I won them from a little uh, challenge that was over at the Secret Not Secret Kit Club, and I really like them. They came in like the perfect time to do this layout because I just got them, and I don't have any in that particular color, so they were perfect. Um, so thank you to Christina for that and then the ones for her layout I end up using pink ones and they are some that I think I just got from Expo um, maybe two years ago and I think they were from like the Nicole Peterson booth or something like that and so I don't really have a name of what they are but any pink sequins would do or even just iridescent ones would work um, if you're not really into sequins you know you can use um, enamel dots or nouveau drops or anything like that so I'm just putting a set of three in each of the embellishment areas and that's pretty much gonna do it thanks so much for watching my video if you have any questions or um, comments please leave those below and I would really like to um, hear from you 
If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber already, go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I will um, end up getting out more content, usually on this every Sunday, um, although I did miss a few because I was sick, so my apologies for that, but um, subscribe and, and uh, check out what I have to offer. We're, we're going to be doing another Stretch the Sketch next week, and so that's a really fun series. If you haven't seen it before, check it out. There's a whole bunch of us that participate, and we take a 12 by 12 sketch and change it to a different size. So that's a lot of fun to see how everybody uses it and what they do to make it fit their needs. Thanks again for watching. I will see you next time. Stick around. The close-ups are coming up.